previously on Building Force World. And then this cone is where the actual dish itself will begin. Let's go ahead and try adding some of these layers and we can see what that looks like. And let's copy that whole thing a few times over like so. I believe we need four. So honestly, I think it is absolutely fine. And gentlemen, welcome back to this brand new episode of Building Force World. My voice sounds a bit weird because I'm having a bit of a cold going on, but um, just ignore that. Today, we are finally going to begin building Tatooine. I was planning on doing the Jedi Temple here. Oh, my voice is really bad. I was planning on doing the Jedi Temple right here first, but I'm just too excited to build the uh, coaster for the Tatooine area. So honestly, let's just do that. This coaster is going to be the biggest challenge ever. Uh, I'm going to explain to you why in a sec. Yeah, I mean, honestly, let's get straight into it and see what happens. As you know, on Tatooine, we've got this pod race, which is perfect for this coaster. And the reason why this is going to be so complicated is I want to make a dueling coaster. It is a race after all, so it seemed pretty cool. Now, I would have chosen the multi-launch coaster, but since we already have one in the Endor area, I'm going to go with the single rail coaster. I don't know. It just seems nice, I guess. Now, first, to explain to you what the idea is, basically, what I want to do is create one coaster like so. This is going to be really bad, but just for the idea. And connect it there you go and that in this case would be anakin's pod racer of course and then right next to that the same exact thing just something very quick and simple like this and to make sure that's connected as well and click build here you go and that would then of course be sebulba's pod racer now this of course is absolute trash don't mind it but if i go all the way here it says enable departure synchronization and then i'll just have to find here you go sebulba so now whenever the yellow one begins testing the other one uh, doesn't. What? <laughs> so if I sit inside and this starts, wait for it. There you go. They both go together at the same time. And so they kind of race against each other. Um, now, the reason why this is going to be so difficult is they need to reach the station at the exact same time, or at least kind of the same time. And as you're seeing just here, the orange one is a bit faster. There are many ways to fix this. You can either just make the track longer or shorter, increase or decrease the speed, all of that sort of stuff. But that is a shit ton of work. What I also want to do is make a relatively short track and then do just multiple laps like this, like three laps, just like in the movie, really. And to be fair, that only makes it more difficult because the third lab they're gonna be off even further so really i am digging my own grave right here um this is going to be one massive challenge but one i'm happy to take on because if it works it is bloody epic however before really beginning you've noticed this beautiful shirt um it's red now as you have seen <laughs> and this one of course also you can get for yourself for only 16 robux link down below make sure to get it now let's delete these guys and actually start for real first off um i think it's nice if it starts right about here we can make the little arena thing so basically the left side this entire area is going to be the coaster and the rest is just going to be the rest of Tatooine. So let's see. I suppose we can begin um, here. And right away, let's make the other one as well. Just right next to it. Here you go. This first one, let's call that Anakin's Pod Racer. And this one's uh, Bulba's Pod Racer. Well, this is where the fun begins. <laughs> Gotta make sure the train length is the same. I think this is long enough. Shouldn't be too insane. Oh, dude, this ride's capacity is gonna be so terrible, though. Oh my god. Well, then I suppose um, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It always has to begin with a boost, that's obvious. But then after that is where things go south. Let's say first it makes a very sharp left. I sound like an actual gremlin, though. It's really bad. I don't think I've ever had a cold where my voice sounded this rough. But you know what? The word goes on, you know? So, uh, whatever. We're going to be doing some zigzags here, guys, to really make sure it gets that speed and momentum. Let's see if this is kind of uh, nice at all, instead of just trying... What's... Ooh. What is happening? Again, ladies and gentlemen, here you... Ah, there you go. We amazing. So I'm realizing now that I think this track just looks so dumb. Like, look at this. It's just like a, like a block. I don't like how that looks at all. Aren't there any other options besides the multi-launch? I mean, there's the motorbike one. It's not ideal, 
either, but at least the track looks nice. See, this track's looking real nice. Let me just try a little bit of this and see what that looks like. The only downside of this track is it can't invert, but I don't think this was going to invert anyway. So, like, look, it can't go further than this, which I guess is, I mean, it doesn't really matter for this one. So, well, I suppose let's see what this is going to be like. Let's click on testing and have a seat and see what happens. Here you go. See, that track just looks so much nice. Oh, oh, that's bad. But the track looks just so much nicer. Now, as you know from previous videos, I'm not going to show you the entire process of me building this coaster because that's just not favorable for anyone. But right now, I will give you kind of an idea of what I'm trying to do. And just like this, we're going to get back to the station. This is going to be very wonky, I think, but um, you get the idea. And well, then for this second one, I'm going to have to kind of make it go around the first one. Oh, today is an absolute disaster, guys. My voice is weird. Coasters look weird. What even is happening right now? <laughs> I actually have the feeling that building this coaster is going to take actual years. Like, ugh. I mean, getting one decent track, that already is challenge enough. Let alone two, but then also... They have to sync up. This, however, as I said earlier, is just a draft, an idea, a very rough outline. Anyway, let me just finish this real quick and show you what my idea is. So now, as you can see, they start at the same time. They go their own way. I didn't test this. I have no idea if this is going to work. It's actually, this is very satisfying. What? Wow. Would you look at that? So they're not going to end at the same time at all. I mean, it's not even that bad. But you get the idea. This is kind of um, the point of this whole ride. The track, of course, is very boring, but it does do three laps and all of the scenery around it is going to really make it stand out. I'm also not sure if this is going to be... How is the orange one so fast? I'm also not sure if it's going to be this exact layout. I may change the location of stuff a little bit, but um, yeah, just an idea. I'm going to build this. I'm going to try and make it work as best I can. It's going to take years. I will probably be doing this for an entire day. Wish me luck. I'll be right back with you. Oh, come on, you can do this. Oh, come on! Can you just hit me? Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, after more time than I care to admit, it is finally finished and I did have some help as you may have suspected already. The complete layout of the coaster I made myself, completely myself. However, the operations our boy Teachman did and let me just tell you, it is... Mm. It is actually crazy how this turned out. So honestly, let me just show you. If I put this one on testing, and I'm just going to follow it with free cam. Uh, you'll see what it does. First of all, they begin at the exact same time. Very satisfying. Let's do a very cool cinematic montage to show you exactly how this goes. The idea is the first lap they kind of finish the exact same time because that's just very satisfying. Then in the second lap, Bulbas is going a lot faster because obviously in the movie as well, Anakin is quite far behind. But then during the third lap, Anakin actually catches up and even makes it to the finish line first. So that is um, quite nice, actually. The coasters themselves, the tracks aren't really all that special. They're not that smooth. They're okay, especially considering that actually it's more about the idea anyway. Now, as you expect, uh, the scenery around this is going to be a lot. It's going to be very complicated, very... Uh, just honestly, I mean... If you've seen the movie, you know all the kind of different things I'm going to have to build. And it's going to be absolute mayhem. I don't even want to know how long this is going to take. Especially when you realize it's going to have to be on the same level of detail as Andor. Like, at least. So that is going to be quite interesting. That, however, is something for the next episodes, because um, for today, I think this... I mean, the video might not be that long, but this has taken forever. So yes, this is today's video. If you wish to support this channel just an extra little bit, make sure to use my star code Benji at your next Robux checkout, because when you do, I get a small commission from Roblox. So that is quite lovely. If you liked this video, make very sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell not to miss a single future video, and then I hope I'll see you in the next episode of Building Force World.